Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the vocabulary part of excess. Let's get into the video. In English language, new words can be formed by a process called affixation. Affixation means adding affixes to the root word to form a new word. Affixes can be classified into prefix and suffix. If an affix is attached to the beginning of the word, it is called a prefix. If an affix is attached to the end of the word, it is called a suffix. In English, a word consists of three parts, root words, prefixes and suffixes. A root word is a word that can form the basis of new words by adding affixes that is prefix or suffix. The prefixes and suffixes are not words by themselves, but they help in forming new words. A word that is added before a root word to form a new word is called prefix. A word that is added at the end of the root word to form a new word is called a suffix. Look at the arrow mark. The root word is in the middle, the front we are adding prefix, at the back we are adding suffix. Prefixes are words before a root word to derive a new meaning. Let us explore the usage of prefixes in detail. Prefixes that derive antonyms or opposites. The prefixes anti, d, this, an, in, im, ir usually denote the opposite meaning of the root words. Example, social, antisocial, lock, unlock, agree, disagree, motivate, demotivate, active, inactive, reversible, irreversible, possible, impossible. Prefixes that mean Cause to. The prefix n usually denotes the causing effect. Able, enable, that is cause to able. Joy, enjoy. Danger, endanger. Prefixes that mean before to. The prefix for usually denotes anything done before, that is earlier. Denotes to the verb. Example, cast forecast go forego father forefather prefixes that mean amongst the prefix inter usually denotes amongst others that is among others example national international state interstate let's move to the fifth rule prefixes that mean middle the prefix Mid usually denotes being in the middle part or position. Day, midday, night, midnight, week, midweek, ocean, mid ocean. Prefixes that mean doing again. The prefix re usually denotes repeating of an action. Example, start, restart, do, redo, write, rewrite. Prefixes that mean too much. The prefix over usually denotes too much or a lot of. Example, do, overdo, load, overload. Prefixes that mean before. The prefix pre usually denotes previous to or before. Historic, prehistoric, view, preview, plan, pre-plan. Prefixes that mean under and above. The prefix sub usually denotes under and super denotes above. Example, text, subtext. Marine, submarine. Natural, supernatural. Market, supermarket. Prefixes that mean little or low. The prefix under usually denotes lesser. Example, estimate, underestimate, age, under age. Here is a list of commonly used prefixes. Prefix meaning example. 
anti which means against example antisocial d or dis both has the meaning opposite or not dehydrate this engage or examples n m meaning cause to enable for meaning before example forego in im this meaning into not that is immoral inedible in im here that is not or opposite means example impossible inter which means among international med means medal example midway miss means wrong example misunderstanding non means not example nonsense over means too much overdose pre means before example prehistoric re means doing again example restart semi means half semi finals sub means under submerge subtext super means above example supernatural trans means across transnational and transport un means not opposite example unlock under means little example under estimate hope you understand prefixes now let's see about suffix suffixes or words attached at the end of the root words to derive a new year meaning let us explore the usage of some suffixes suffixes that derive plurals the suffix s or es usually brings about the plural meaning example object objects wish wishes bottle bottles suffixes that derive tenses the suffix ed usually is used for past tense the suffix ing usually is used for present tense that is walk walked type typed run running sing singing suffixes that mean consequential the suffixes yet n ify iz e usually mean to become complex complicate tight tighten straight straighten beauty beautify strategy strategize suffixes that mean quality the suffixes acy ly ance ity ty tion usually mean the quality of being example supreme supremacy normal normally dominate dominance active activity honest honesty promote promotion suffixes that mean the study of the suffix logy usually denotes the field of study example biology ornithology ecology here is a list of commonly used suffixes yes es meaning plural example things buses ed which means past tense example obtained ing present tense training ate to become hibernate en to become enlighten ify to become example notify iz e to become example revolutionize ise to become advertise ly explain quality example swiftly slowly acy meaning state or quality example supremacy ance state or quality acceptance dom state of being freedom boredom er ian ost e or one who is that is teacher engineer technician ism meaning belief hinduism buddhism ist which means one who is that is extremist buddhist like that ity or ty both have meaning quality example honesty responsibility 
mint which means condition of example improvement ness which means condition of or state example sadness i o n t i o n s i o n which means state of being example promotion condensation o l o g y meaning study of example biology ecology hope you understood prefix and suffixes thanks for listening for more helpful tips to improve your knowledge and uh, to get more marks in your examination just click the bell icon to get further notification if you are already subscribed if you are not subscribed kindly click the subscribe button and click the bell icon of all thank you